What's going on, squad? So, as you can see by the title, it's a sad day. It's a sad day. So, this may or may not be a surprise to some of you, but, you know, it's fi it's nice to at least see that Sony has finally said something about it themselves. So, a few days ago was Tokyo Game Show, and there they, I guess Andrew House was there, and they interviewed him. So, there's these two inter these two articles I found. One of them was um, on Snapchat. My friend sent it to me directly. So, we're going to look at both of them. They're kind of the same article, but there are some different, some small differences between them. But we're going to look at what they have to say, because the interview was about Andrew House and where he sit, where they stand, like Sony stands for uh, handheld gaming. So, yeah, let's just see what's going on. And actually, as a side note, Andrew House just a few days ago stepped down from the president and CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment. So, where he sat, the only other person above him was the CEO and president of Sony Corporation. And that's the guy who would see oversee everything. Just, yeah, and then Andrew House was like one step down, and he was like really more into it, I guess you could say. So, it's actually said that uh, John Codera is going to be taking this the spot as the president and CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment. Um, so let's see what happens. All love to Andrew House, though. He was the GOAT. He was the GOAT. So it's the end of a freaking crazy era. I think he picked up that position in 2011. But back on topic. Like I said, I found this uh, article on uh, Snapchat. So I actually took a screenshot of it. So you should see it on your screen. So I'm just going to read it off my phone. So the first one. So like I said, these are pretty sure it's the same interview, but it's just two different articles. And so this one doesn't have as much information, but it gets straight to the point. While the other one, it has some more insights like with from analysts and stuff like that. So this one's called Sony doesn't plan to make a Switch competing Vita successor. So it says this, uh, under that is like a little quote. You know, it says the Vita experience was that outside of Japan and Asia. There was not a huge demand. So that's Andrew House. But anyways, let's go. So it says Sony Interactive Entertainment President Andrew House sees the handheld market as limited in the age of the smartphone and has all but dismissed a successor to the PlayStation Vita to compete with the Nintendo Switch. Now, you see, the thing is, that was, a big, that was a big topic that was brought up because of that a blueprint that was that was leaked or seen or whatever that was trademarked it was of a what it looked like a switch version from PlayStation and that caused a lot of confusion and thoughts from people thinking that Sony was going to combat that but the thing is they had never said anything about it so this is their answer. Speaking to Bloomberg, House explained that we have not seen handheld gaming outside of Asia and has as being a huge market opportunity. The Vita experience was that outside of Japan and Asia. There was not a huge demand, House continued. The lifestyle shift toward the dominance of smartphones as a single key device that is always with you was the determining factor. This is not the first time we've heard Sony say this about the handheld. But at the other times, it was always it was more so where they're like, we're not sure right now because we think smartphones are overtaking it, but we're not sure. Now it's kind of like saying, no, we're done. We've, we've analyzed. The upshot is that House says there are no plans to take on Nintendo Switch, which has boomed in its first year by combining handheld and home console play. In fact, House doesn't see Nintendo Switch as a handheld in the sense that Vita was, or as a direct competition with Sony. The Nintendo device is a hybrid device, and that's a different approach and strategy. The folks at Nintendo have their strategy, and that's great. Bloomberg reports that House hasn't yet seen signs of Switch hurting PlayStation sales, and that its release may actually may actually done the opposite, which I don't, how, how, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That draws me to the conclusion that they've really been addicted, additive to the business in the last year or so. While still receiving some support in Japan and Asian markets, it seems as though Sony's experiments with handhelds may be over. As House puts it, we remain focused around a highly connected gaming experience and also coupled with, with having a great range of other entertainment experiences so you can reach multiple people on the big screen in the household. <sighs> Yikes. 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 Let's go ahead and take a look at the OG post, which is on Bloomberg's website, and let's see what they have to say about it. So this one is called PlayStation Boss Sees Limited Potential for Handheld Gaming. So I'm going to try to, I might skip the parts that kind of are repeated so we can save some time. So it says Sony, Sony Corp's gaming chief, Andrew House, sees limited global potential for handheld gaming in the age of smartphones, saying that the company doesn't have any concrete plans to take on Nintendo company's Switch. The Nintendo device is a hybrid device, and that's a different approach and strategy, House said in an interview at last week's Tokyo Game Show. We have not seen that as being a huge market opportunity, he says, referring to handheld gaming outside of Japan and Asia where Sony still sells a Vita portable device. Sony's focus for now is to deliver more products and services for the living room, okay, including virtual reality and non-gaming entertainment 
entertainment such as TV shows and music with the PlayStation 4 console serving as a key digital entertainment hub. Although Sony has been selling portable gaming machines for more than a decade, they haven't caught on and no updates for the Vita were announced at the show. Since taking the helm in 2012, Chief Executive Officer Kazuo Hirai, Hirai, I think that's how you say it, has pushed the Tokyo-based company to be more focused on fewer products. Ah, yikes, man. Some game developers have been anticipating a new Vita device, the latest iteration of the PlayStation PSP handheld gaming machine that was introduced in 2004. While the PSP has sold well, shipments of portable machines have steadily been declining according to data from Sony and VG charts. VG charts, hey, the goat. <laughs> developers who create games for PS4 and Vita will stop working on Vita. Without an update, said Heideka, Heideki Yasuda, <laughs> an analyst at Ace Research Institute, then they'll develop for the PS4 and Switch. I don't know about that. Konami Holdings Corporation, Square Enix Holdings, and other large publishers prefer to create games for multiple platforms so they have a larger potential market of buyers, regardless of whether they own the PlayStation, Microsoft, Xbox, or personal computers. See, that's a that's a very, very apparent thing. For at least Square Enix, like they, they, they you know the um what's it called? World of Final Fantasy still released on Vita in 2016. You know what I'm saying? That's like a triple A game on the Vita. So the same thing with um they didn't say um what's the name? Koei Tecmo as well. They're also still just pumping out Vita games. I don't know what happened my camera just stopped recording. I don't know where I left off. Naturally, to reach as many people as possible, we prefer to release our products on various devices, said Takayuki Kuromada, a spokesperson, spokesman for Konami's video game subsidiary. Games are becoming multifaceted, face, I don't know how to say that, <laughs> and being played in various ways at various places. House is essentially betting that smartphones are well on their way to becoming the main portable gaming platform for most people. Sadly, with these gotcha games, that is becoming so true. Like, a few years ago, I wasn't believing that. But now with these games like uh, Doken Battle, um, uh, Treasure Cruise, Digimon Links is coming to the U.S., hey, damn, it's really true. I was honestly in disbelief, but now that I think about it, it's true, man. That's why Sony last year established its own studio to create mobile games. The unit called Forward Works is doing fantastic, House says. We'll talk about that, Forward Works specifically, in a little bit. With the Switch, which debuted in March, Nintendo is betting that, there, that there's going to be a robust market for a hybrid console slash hybrid console portable gadget that lets people play their games in their living room or on the go. So far, it's been a success with sales on track with the Kyoto-based company's forecast and helping to add about $21 billion to its market value this year. What? Sony shares are up 25% this year, while Nintendo has surged 64%. The Topix index has climbed 10%. I don't know what that last line means, but 64% for Nintendo, all because of this thing. I, it's kind of... In the corner, I don't want to grab my my switch because it'll just it'll just mess up the video. Still, the verdict is out on whether the switch will become a mainstream device. Susun Kazu Ishiharu, oh my God, the head of Pokemon Company and one of Nintendo's closest partners, said in a recent interview that the device that the device, although an important platform, still has to prove that it can last, and that's a fact. That is a fact. So far, though, House says he hasn't seen any signs of the Switch having an impact on Sony's sales of content or hardware. That's very true, though, because Switch is not a main heart is not a main system that you own. You have to have Switch plus something else. This is how it is. So that's basically the majority of that uh, article. That one. <sighs> So from all that we, we just you know read, there's a few things that I've written down and taken some notes on that I want to talk about. So first things first is the idea of smartphones, okay? Sony has been saying this is an issue for the longest time, okay? Since like 2014, ever, once the Vita kind of bombed, they were just blaming it on smartphones. But at that time, I don't think it was as big of a deal because the 3DS was still freaking booming while it still is. The 3DS is the closest selling hardware you know, gaming hardware to the PS3, PS4 right now. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I guess it was out earlier, but still, I handle if if the market is that dead. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, Nintendo's doing something right. I just think that it's not. It's no. It's not the fact that Nintendo can still profit off of it so much. It it's not completely dead. It's just the idea of having a different approach, just like what Nintendo did. They thought, how can we still make it boom? You know, even though the 3DS is still doing pretty good, but let's just how can we make it our own and make it shine even more? 
portable and home console. You know what I'm saying? They just got to think of something outside the box. It, I think the downfall, this is my last point on this one. The downfall was the idea of just, just trying to make it the most powerful gaming handheld device. Even though a lot of us want that, but it's not enough to sell. You know what I'm saying? It's not enough to sell. Forward works, guys. Forward works is a potential curse. Now, it's not that big of a deal, but... The thing is, they're going to start taking some things, some some IPs that they maybe don't want to make a full-on game for and just throw them over to Forward Works and they're going to make a, a mobile game. Now, I know that the, the H. Brandt, um, he's he's no because I've been aware of this Forward Works, but I feel like Forward Works has never been in the in the limelight like it was in this article because I felt like it was real low-key that they made that that studio. But because it, I guess it's not that big of a deal, and I haven't really seen much from them, but I seen uh what is it uh Wild Arms Wild Arms I seen Wild Arms uh it was people were speculating that this game was going to get remade or re brought up re you know re whatever came come back to life after being dead for so long but then it was kind of a kick in the balls when we saw that Forward Works was making a game for it aka it was going to be a mobile game so I'm just saying for nothing nothing wrong with it but I'm just saying it could potentially you know curse if you're waiting for something to happen and all of a sudden it gets turned to a mobile game something like Puppeteer I feel like I see there's a lot of diehard fans for that game but it's not very popular at all they could easily make a Forward Works or a mobile game out of it so just keep that in mind. I guess the last thing that I want to just expand on is the idea that, think about it, guys, Sony definitely does have a lot of stuff going on. Very, a lot of positive stuff going on for them right now. So, I can see where they're coming from. Just like how they said, uh, the, the main president of Sony Corporation, he says they don't want to have, they don't want to have so many products, have, have as many products. If you think about it, they got the PS3, um, they got the kind of the Vita, they got PlayStation VR, they got PlayStation View, they got uh, PlayStation Now, think about all of this, dude, think about all of this, and you know, uh, PlayStation VR is getting a new version, not like a new, new, new version, just like a, I don't think it's going to be a big, big step, I'm not sure, because it got announced for Japan and Asia, and I think that's why we don't have too much information now, because it will be getting announced in the US soon, but it just hasn't yet, but the fact that it, did, it sold so well, it came out so late into the, the whole VR game, and it's still the best selling thing, think about that, that's such a good opportunity to expand on, and make so much money from that. So I just think maybe they do maybe they do have people that want to make another handheld, but I just think that the the situation is just so changed and different now for how it was back then that there's just no reason to potentially fail in that market anymore. I think that's what's going on. So all in all, I am kind of sad that the the thing the thing is with all this stuff is that handhelds literally brought me into gaming okay i st i was i literally missed out on like gamecube on like ps1 entirely um ps3 honestly i missed out on all these things back in the day because i was such a handheld gamer i've had just about almost a, a lot of the handhelds you know game boy color advance i didn't get the 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 one that looks like this i skipped that and got the sp um then from there, I got a DS, and then I got a PSP, and then I got a 3DS, and then I just was on my PSP for the longest time, you know, because PS3, PSP and PS3 were kind of hand-in-hand hand around the same era. Well, PSP bursted around the era that PS3 came out, so it was just kind of like, yeah, I was still playing my PSP and hacking and everything. It's, it's tragic, but it's just like, I've also moved on, all right? I'm also, I don't know, not that getting older, because I would still love to have a handheld, but I'm just growing up in a sense, and I've just, I've just moved on, I guess you could say. And I love my PS4, honestly, you know what I'm saying? I enjoy a lot of it. There's a lot of games I'm looking forward to, you know, as you know, Monster Hunter, Digimon, uh, Code Vein, you know what I'm saying? All these things to look forward to on this. That's why I think that's what that's what's making me not as sad anymore. I'm honestly not sad at all, you know. And because I've already accepted this like two years ago, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of you guys have not accepted it. So you got to accept it. It's time to move on, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to move on. Now, not entirely, though. Not entirely because, of course, Nintendo is still booming. So if you are that much of a handheld fan, you know, Nintendo is there to save you. But I still have to say I would still give playstation a chance ps4 a chance consoles in a chance because i think they're going to be pretty cool soon but other than that, that's all i gotta say it's a nice longer video but you know this is a big step so i guess before we go though this is like the 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 big goodbye to 
Nah, no, it's not. Never mind. Just, just forget I said that. Forget I said that. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. Um, yeah. All right. Peace. You see, I'm waiting and they hating and I'm sipping on my tea. Bad bitch walking past. May I stop you, please? And I'm hungry as a bitch, but this life ain't free. Life ain't if free. I'm trying to get this money, I can't really shake a tree. I'll be working, I'll be working. It's a quarter past three. When I stop.